Greetings, real Vishali to you. Blessings. God has more for you. I want to tell you, God has more for you. Yes, you. But you have to be willing to let go of your way. I know it's hard, but you have to be willing to let go of your way. What's been comfortable to you is the way of life that you have been living because this new life that he has for you is new. You will be blessed. Don't look at my life or anybody else's. This is for you. God put some heart for you. Whoever you are watching, God show me this new life that He has for you. Amen. Praise God. But you must be willing to let go of the old. I have it written down. And jump into the new. It's a river, a river of life. That is what I can compare it to. You have to be willing to jump into the river. Hallelujah. This river is nothing you've ever experienced. Experience. It's not like, you know, every other river. This is a river of life. It's a Holy Spirit. It's in the Spirit. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. There is a life abundantly for you. What are you going through right now? If you give your life to Jesus. Hallelujah. You will be filled with new life in Christ and the Holy Spirit. You can even be in prison, but when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will have a new life inside. You'll be brand new. And uh, the, the waters of the Holy Spirit are like living waters. It will just flow from within you, and it is the river of life. It's brand new life in Christ. It's all spiritual. When I first be became born again, everything, when I woke up, I gave my life to the Lord at night. When I woke up, everything was brand new, and it, it was all spiritual even the birds were brand new everything i saw and my heart overflowed with love and forgiveness towards those that hurt me i was so full of love i couldn't stop crying i look forward to walking to the store with my grandma i felt that was such a blessing the little thing and I asked my mom to forgive me when I first became born again. I was filled with the Holy Spirit and He wants to kill you too. If you don't know the Lord and you're dumb and you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, He wants to give that to you. Yes, He does. His plan is different than the plans that we have for ourselves, but they're better. They are actually, they're more than we ever thought we would love because He put them there. You know, everything you love, the Lord, He has better plans that will blow your mind. So, you know, you have to be willing to let go of the way that you have been living. Just, you know, not bad. Just, uh, you know, um, step into the new life, if that makes sense.
it is a new life because you know you have been living for yourself like everybody but when you come to the Lord your whole life changes and becomes tuned into the Holy Spirit and the fruits of the Spirit and you'll have a peace that surpasses all understanding that you have ever experienced in this life. The river is refreshing. And if you have ever experienced what, if you know what the word glee means, the word glee means, uh, you know, just so happy and joyous. You know, like a little kid. Uh, like a little kid experiences happiness. Amen? So that is what the river is like, the river of life. Amen. So keep listening, okay? Share this. But don't keep listening. Uh, the river is full of freedom. I appreciate your patience, okay, with me, the river is full of freedom inside, like you never experienced, I'm telling you, coming from me, I've experienced it, and I'm telling you, it's full of freedom, and you feel so alive, it is a new life in Christ, and that is why they call it being born again. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Praise God. So, uh, you know, you want to be born again. Hallelujah, praise God. Bear with me. I'm trying to do two things at one time. Okay? This is real. <laughs> This is real with Shelly. It does get. It does not get more real than this. Yes, I know I have to be a little bit more. I try my best, so I appreciate if you're listening. Still, praise God. God is awesome. You want to know? You want to listen to what I have to say? Because what I'm speaking of words of life. You know. It's different than most, you know, people out there on YouTube. But I'm telling you, it's real. Praise God. So, you know, you will experience freedom like never, ever. Okay? And uh, what, it's being born again. Yes, it is. You become born again. Jesus gives you a new life. It's a new life in Christ. You don't have to do nothing but by faith ask, ask Christ to come into your heart. Amen. Praise God. And He takes over. Yes, you know, read the Bible. You have to be ready to repent. Repent means you're ready to let everything go and come to the Lord. You know? Turn the other direction from where you're going and come to the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I'm telling you, I'm not promising you a rose garden, but you will have the Holy Spirit. And there's nothing else in this earth that can compare to the power of of the Holy Spirit to the presence to the presence of the Holy Spirit praise God amen so listen to me okay it's a it is a spiritual state when I say born again I mean it's a spiritual state praise God amen God has your best interest in mind. He knows everything about you. Everything up to now in your life, God has been there. Do you have kids? God has blessed you. Kids are a blessing. God has blessed you with kids. 
wonderful, wonderful. God is a blessing. He wants to bless you. Again, don't look at life because your life is different. The timing on your life, God, God's timing for the bills and blessing He has that He wants to give you is different than mine. My life is different than yours. God wants to continue to bless you. He has a plan for you. He has a plan for your children. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Yes. So, you know, just um, come, come to the Lord. And, uh, you know, you might have to let go of some people that have been influencing you, that have led you away from those things that your heart has, your heart has desired. So you want to have to let go of some people that have been influencing you the wrong way and giving you their idea of God. There is doesn't align with the God of the Bible that created you and created your kids. Okay? You want to come to Jesus. He is the truth the way, and the life. If you feel lost, Jesus is the way. He is the truth. He is the reality. And He wants you to give you more. He wants you to go to Him. And He wants you to experience life in the Holy Spirit. And so do I. Uh, the Word of God tells us, you know, be, you being created, it says that, um, hang on. It says, uh, for in Him all things were created. Amen? So if you have kids, you know the amazement of that thing in your stomach that became a living baby, a being after you have it, you know that is from God. God created all things. Praise God. He created you too. And He is a plan. Part of your kids were His plan. Amen. But even He wants you to continue in what He has for you. So, he is the creator of everything and everything in heaven, everything in earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through God. Amen? Can you relate? So if you don't know Jesus and you want to, say this prayer, okay? Say, Dear Jesus, forgive me. I know I'm a sinner. Thank you for dying for me on the cross. I believe you rose again. Baptize me in your Holy Spirit, fill me with your Holy Spirit and your power, with your love. Give me a brand new life. Help me to walk this life for you the rest of my life. Make me brand new. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. The Word of God tells us that uh, the angels in heaven rejoice even when just one sinner repents. So that's what's going on in heaven right now. Praise God. Amen. So praise the Lord. You're brand new. Read the 
your Bible start in Psalms or the book of the Gospel of John. Amen. Get into a fivefold ministry that is on fire for Jesus. Preachers, teachers, prophets, wives, delivers. Amen. And I'll talk to you soon. Look at some of my other videos. They're awesome. I love you. God bless.